It's on record. You just got to keep us in the window. All right. My name is Tom. This is Sahaba. Hey. <laughs> um, we're, we're, we're ministers. We pray for people and they get healed quite often immediately. Do All you right. guys have any pain or sickness that won't go away? Huh. Yeah. I've got this uh, wrist issue. Do you really? Yeah. So what I did was um, I've been doing a lot of heavy lifting. Right. And uh, I think what I did was tore this um, tendon right here. So okay. So then um, impacted this part of the wrist when I was using a pickaxe the other day. So it multiple injuries. So okay. you tore the tendon? Yeah. Right and there's the pain there right now? Yeah, there's pain in there right now. Okay, so Ahava is going to pray for that. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, so go ahead, Ahava, and, and uh, yeah. that's what we, we speak the issues. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. All right. So all pain get out of this wrist right now. All damage be gone in Jesus' name. A beautiful restoration and order in this wrist, in this hand. In Jesus' name, all trauma leave in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 You, you got a great personality. <laughs> How's that feeling? You got blood huh? <laughs> Did the pain go away? Uh, no. Oh, it, the pain is did there. it go down at all? I can't tell, honestly. What do you mean? Well, I think I would have to like try to do a handstand. Oh, yeah, yeah. Things like that. Right? So like, like when you feel around there, can you feel the pain if you press against it? Yeah, it's still feeling right. Okay, okay, I'm going to press. All right, so right now, all pain, leave him. Spirit of pain, get out of him right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Go. Tendons, ligaments, muscles be mended right now in Jesus' name. Trauma, go now in Jesus' name. Now, what's going on? Oh, yeah, I don't feel the pain. That was God? If you search for it, can you find it? Your face is, I love your expression. Because you're, you know, like, you're, your expression, you know, speaks a thousand words, you know? Yeah. We'll see. It feels good though right now? It feels better. Yeah, like the pain is like almost completely gone? Well, yeah. Say this, say, say, <laughs> say this, say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I believe, I believe, and I receive, and I receive because you pay the price for me to be healed. Because you pay the price for me. Amen. Amen. So that right there, even you saying that, even you confessing that has power in it. Yes. It makes it continue, that, that healing continues. And you know what? Ahava, it's not like Ahava couldn't do it. Jesus had to pray, tw pray twice for somebody whose eyes were blind. He prayed for a guy one time, and, and then the guy started seeing people. They looked like trees walking around. And then he prayed for him a second time, and then his ear eyes cleared up. You know, so like, so like what Ahava did was it, it kind of like broke the ice a little bit, you know? And, and then me saying, let me pray, was showing you that we're not giving up. Yeah. We don't quit, yeah. you know, and so that strengthened your faith a little bit. You're like, okay, well, these guys got persistence, sure. and so yeah. that raised your faith a little bit. Because we're standing on His word that believers lay hands on the sick and they get recovered. We're standing yeah. there, we're believing that, you know. Right. So sometimes, if you don't see it immediately, you know it's true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, because she's ministered to many people and they've been healed. Mm -hmm. You know, so I know that's the reason why I said, go ahead. I was gonna pray for you. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Is that the first time you've ever experienced anything like that? Um. And, and you've been a Christian for how long? I guess I've, since I was baptized when I was two. Okay, see, now this is the reason why we record these things, is because we like to educate the community, the Christian community, believers, and also non-believers, that the power of God is in you when you believe in Jesus. God completely agreed with that. That's the reason why you got healed. You know, you have faith, you have faith to receive, you know, and it's like, it shows that you believe. It's one of the evidences that you believe. You know, Jesus healed people for two reasons. One was to get their attention so that they would believe. Mm -hmm. And the other reason why he healed people is because healing is the children's bread. So if you're a child of God, it's yours to receive when you need it. Mm -hmm. And so like, an education helps you to receive. So like, you've never experienced it before because you just want to educate on that. So now we're educating you on what's available to you, the benefits of being a Christian. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Interesting. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Is the pain going to come back when I do a handstand now? It, it could or it might not. I've been in many situations where I prayed for somebody and the pain came back. But I've also been in many situations where I prayed for somebody and it didn't come back. You know, and, and on those people that it came back, I've prayed three, four, five, six times until it was gone for good. Like I would pray, it would come back, I'd pray again, it'd go and come back, pray again, it'd go and come back, and then it finally would go. And, and there's been a lot of debate as to why that is. You know, and my belief for that, what it is is that 
for some reason, it's like a person that's that's receiving it for the first time, it's like their faith is growing a little bit. Each time they're experiencing that, their faith is growing a little bit more until it gets to the point where they've got strong enough faith to hold on to that which is theirs, you know? Because yeah. doubt so, can also. Do you think you can uh, heal yourself by praying for your injuries? Yes, I have. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I've ministered you know, to myself a number of times, but I've also I've also prayed for things wrong with me and nothing happened, and I've had to have I've had to have other ministers pray for me in order to get it to go away. So it's both worked and not worked praying for myself. And I've made life changes in order to obey his commands to be obedient to him as I received revelation. And by obeying him, things have changed in my life without directing it so much, you know? So it's like with a believer, there's, there's more, like there's more accountability because he's revealing truth to us he's revealing his nature and then as we step deeply into it he provides healing it's part of the whole it's part of this gift of grace it's amazing yeah how's that feel i can hold that if you want to take you know, no, she's doing a great job like <laughs> did you get his expression yeah so <laughs> he's been in a thousand isn't there it feels weak still in the same spot so, so it feels weak, but the pain is gone. Yeah. Okay, so all weakness leave right now. We declare strength, and so now we lay hands now. I want to also tell you that you can speak over things. So we declare strength right now into your hand and wrist in the name of Jesus Christ. Strength come back into it. Flexibility come back into that hand and wrist right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Because this is the truth. Amen. Now, now tell me if you're feeling a little stronger there. You feel something going on there? Some strength? It's hard, it's hard, it's hard to verify. It really is. Yeah, it is because you're not doing something. Yeah. You know what? Test it out. Yeah. Push, right. push up against this right, right here. Right, right. It's a slight pain still, but it, it does feel stronger. It's a slight pain, but it feels stronger. All right, now, all soreness, leave that wrist right now. Can you leave completely? Any doubt go in the name of Jesus Christ? Any unclean spirit trying to lie to my brother, get away from him right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Pain go and strike them into that wrist in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, now what did that do? <laughs> well, I don't feel this pain anymore. The pain's yeah. gone. Yeah. It's so important to teach the body of Christ what is theirs. And also for unbelievers to know what, what is available. Yeah, because we have this power and authority to use that power. We're talking about life and death. Absolutely. To declare that. The, the tongue. The, t the Bible says the tongue has the power of life and death. So you can speak death over yourself and you can speak life over yourself. You know, if you're, con if you're constantly saying things like, my back is killing me, <laughs> your back is going to be hurting a lot. But if you're, if you're speaking yeah. life over yourself, like you wake up in the morning and you're like, I'm strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I'm the heel of the Lord. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That word has power and also the fact that you're speaking with your own mouth.